What is going on my fine folks of YouTube? This is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Got some good looking upcoming sneakers for us to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please, you gotta come on and join the squad. Also connect to my Instagram, it is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D-O-D-B. And I use them as background music on this channel. Before we get started, though, I got to tell some of you guys that this particular review is for educational purposes only. If this is only my analysis. Then I jump up off this video. So I have an upcoming pair of Travis Scott Low Olives. Olives. Good looking colorway. But I still hold one of his lows in high regard. But let's take a look at this beautiful sneaker we have before you. You can see this has a glossy and a matte. I don't know if it's coming like this people don't beat me up in the comment section this is an early representative pair let's get into it matte box with the nike and matte a little bit of gloss toss that to the side once again he kind of goes with the pink paper but i don't know if it's going to come with the pink paper once again representative pair anyway <laughs> what's, what's he mean by that <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. So we have the olive Travis Scott low. I've done this shoe. This is my third pair Very good looking pair of sneakers man. I do like these I do I do I do I do love olive sneakers olive and black But there's one part of the shoe that kind of destroys All of his lows that he doing this sort of a color block and what I mean by that is the synthetic new buck on the toe Yes, if you didn't know, that's not a real new buck that is synthetic. One reason I don't like it is because it gets all wavy and bendy. Actually, I have a pair I'm going to compare right here. You see how wavy and bendy this gets right here? That's because it's not a real new buck. It's a synthetic new buck, and it does not form and shape to the... You see that? This is what happens to it when it's not real. Anyway, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's go ahead and get back to this. Beautiful looking sneaker. Uh, the Nike swoosh. Look at that beautiful frame. I love that. I, know, I don't know if a lot of people like that, but I, I do. It shows that your leather is real. Really thick cut on the Nike swoosh. More synthetic buck. Now, I can accept it here. I can accept it here. But this part here, you see how beautiful this looks? <laughs> that first two wears going to turn just like that but i still love him nonetheless anyway flip around to the boot you got this sickle mode sad face i don't know why he said green wax lace red wax lace very necessary okay got that buck that is all real buck see the animal paws in that buck medial side cactus jack and red very beautiful on the shaping everything looks good thick nike swoosh or big nike swoosh if you didn't know new buck is my favorite material simply because of the contrast and the blotchiness anyway shaping looking good you got that cream not well this is about sale on the uh, actual sole there green bottom nothing else and then you got sort of a i was going to say army green but olive on the inside and I do go down in my lows, but this one is true to size for me. Anyway, look at the other shoe right quick. Nothing too crazy. Pretty much the same stuff. Buck new. I know what new buck is, but I call it buck new. Looking very good. You got the Jordan Wings logo on the boot. And yeah, man, it's just pretty much the same stuff over and over again. But I'm going to compare it to this shoe once again. This is my absolute favorite from the lows i just love the smoker like i said once again i don't love this because they use the synthetic new buck uh i guess it's for reinforcement but this is not an area that you want to use uh synthetic new buck in it's it's just not and that's one of the things that kind of destroy the lows in my opinion anyway this colorway I, I don't know if it can be beat it's just a beautiful colorway with the white nike swoosh with the black backdrop black laces they come with red and pink and all that other stuff and this particular pair came with the sb style laces so this will always be true uh to one of the best ones that they have created because the other pairs of lows don't come with any type of sb laces so here is a quick look at the mocha and olive i know we all say that it's pretty much the same shoe all over again but once you look at them up close and personal they're really not they're both kind of different in their own regard kind of the same color blocking trying to change the uh mocha to a green 
Uh, you see all the mocha hits are turned to green but i think this mocha pear is just absolutely stunning to me because i love brown the olive pear is absolutely beautiful as well but i just i, I just don't think this one i don't think that this mocha pear can be beat very beautiful both of them are very beautiful and what do you guys think should they add some sb laces with these as well because like i said this one did come with some pink and some black fat sb style laces anyway this has been the review a quick review of another pair of the travis scott edge yeah, on one low olive i do like these these are very good but for me these bad boys right here still king let me know what you guys think about this video down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t hey man i love y'all i'm up off this video